So yeah. <clears throat> I'm making this video because honestly there's been a lot of division with Guilty Gear Strive. I personally played the beta a few times and have some history with the old ones. Recently got into XR a little more than I did before with a friend who is very good, kicks my ass. And I want to point out how important that is to get your ass beat because it made me realize that playing not to lose is the worst thing you can do. Playing to win, if that makes sense, is what you should be doing because you will make the game more detrimental and taxing to your mental health. You will set unrealistic expectations on yourself. Reason I bring this up is because <clears throat> Arxis has been making an attempt to have Strive be more accessible. I say with quotes, but I guarantee you it very is much accessible. Now, beta, the results from them, the betas, they've stated that they've seen players that don't use special moves, don't use tutorial. And this is good. They said with their own words, this is good. We want players to do this. So you want players to have no drive, no nothing, and just sit there and match buttons. So who's the game really for? Because last I checked, new players don't care about combos. Last I checked, they bitch about what combos are, or they don't want them at all in some cases. I mean, I remember several times in DOA lobbies, even in some virtual lobbies, where, which happened recently, VIP. If you combo, you're, you're banned from the room. If you know, you know anything, you look like you're competent, and you're banned from the room. And is this what we're doing to people now? Is this how we're treating it? The no ranking system, all that stuff is just a pat in the back for people who don't really give a shit. They need little incentives and points and things changing on screen for them to think they're doing something. We all know they're not doing something. So again, I ask the question, it begs the question, who's this game for? Is it for all those SF4 players that bitch about anime games not playing like Street Fighter? Because I was one of them. I, did, I failed to realize that, you know, <clears throat> my 2D skill wasn't just going to transfer over seamlessly. You know, I assumed that the games did not respect my 2D skill because I was too busy lamenting in my losses and my ass beatings to see how it could be implemented, albeit a little bit differently. Now, the truth of the matter is that they don't care how you, you see this game. They don't care what you think of the game. They only care during the beta process because they want that day one dinero. Cash, baby. The yen, the euros, the yuans, dollars, pesos. That's all it's been about. Dead motherfucking people on pieces of paper. That's what it's been about this whole time. They don't care anymore. Dice gate. He said, fuck it, baby. I'm living large out here, man. Getting my dick sucked by these hoes in the pool, man. He don't care about you. He don't care about me, my basement dwelling that. They don't give a fuck. They just want you to buy the game, bro. And they'll put the guilty gear name on it to do so. They will. Oh, rest assured, they will. That's the sad truth about this game. Now, for everybody who is interested in playing the game, I mean, yeah, good luck, you know, have fun. It's just a game. Treat it as it is. Treat it like just the game it is. That's all you need to do. Because if you treat it like anything else, you would just see all the flaws in it. And how it shouldn't have the Guilty Gear name. And I say this as someone who's just new to Guilty Gear. And I'm telling you, don't make the same mistake I did. Don't. Don't just think everything is old to you, you know? And I saw I saw the Twitter posts of all the images and the streams. Yeah, we know. It was hype too when VF came out the, on the first. We know. 
I've gotten to the point in VF where my rank is too high, where I can't even fight people my rank consistently because there's not many, there's not that much players. Everyone is just fucking feeding off bad players, new players. This game will be the same thing. You'll rank up. If you care at all about any capacity of how you play a fighting game, you will most likely just be feeding off bad players. But the thing here is that you won't know that they're bad. You won't know that they're good. Just like I'd argue SF5 where the high level players are doing the same shit I am, the same pressure, going through the same shit as I am. There's nothing different anymore to differentiate them from the rest of the pack. It's just about grinding, grinding for the points. That's all we're doing, grinding for the points, making it appear as though we're special. That's why the tournament runs make sense. But you ever notice how the tournament's flippity floppity? I mean, gee, if you would have told me back in the day that Daigo was going to lose to some fucking, some 18-year-old kid from the South who sounds like maybe he skipped a grade or two, excuse me, got held back a grade or two, no offense, Paul. Just saying here for emphasis. I, I, I don't dislike you. I actually think you're mad cool, bro. They think you're crazy. If, if you would have told me a fucking Dominican player would have beat Tokido, I'd have been like, since when were Dominicans playing Street Fighter? Why show up now all of a sudden? You know, maybe I'm getting too deep into it, but the fact of the matter is, is the scope of these things is very clear. How they grab you into playing these games now you're probably saying oh well don't you want people playing fighting games yes i want people playing fighting games but for the right reasons for personal ambition not for recognition or you know acknowledgement of hey i can play a game too look i'm doing the combo that kazunoko does what of course you're gonna do the combo Kazunoko does. It's only like five hits now, and then like a roaming or some other shit. And it's like, you ain't gonna tell me, even that soul shit does miss screen, bro. Like, look at you, you fighting off Potemkin, you know you're gonna get crazy combos. Let me let me not even make this go any longer, but pretty much you get my point here. Play the game for yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh monkey out.